In today's machine learning video, we're going to be talking about the extra trees classifier. Uh, we're going to be going over a little bit of the background of this algorithm, as well as coding it within Python with the help of scikit-learn. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Uh, but a little bit of the background on the extra trees classifier. This is probably the closest algorithm to a random force. In fact, uh, the final result is from an aggregate of a group of decision trees. Again, like I said, very similar to a random force, but there's some slight differences uh, between the two. So here's the differences. With your extra trees classifiers, the value to split features is gonna be randomized. Whereas normally with a random force, it's gonna tend to look for the best. And because of this randomness, the extra trees classifier tends to be a little bit more of a faster algorithm and can sometimes work a little bit better with noisy data. That in mind, I'm gonna jump on my computer right now and let's start coding. All right, let's get started. We have a brand new Jupyter Notebook over here. Uh, we're gonna start off saying from sklearn.data sets import make classification. And if you don't know what this does, no worries. I'll show you it in a second. Classification. I'm gonna shift and enter. It runs the cell above, builds out a brand new one down below. And we're gonna be creating our X and Y data from this. So you can just have very basic bare bones. You can say make classification. And I've used this in other videos, uh, but for this one, I'm just gonna say n features equals 11 and then set our random state to 21. So that way you guys can replicate the results uh, that I have, right? So this is just gonna populate data for a classification problem. And we have our X and Y over here. I'm also gonna build out a few new cells. Now with that in mind, uh, we still need to set this up to X train and X test, Y train, Y test. So let's do that, right? And should be super familiar with it from sklearn.model underscore selection import train test split, right? Now we have our train test split over here. New X train, X test, Y train, Y underscore test equals train test split. Put our X and Y, which is from above. Bigger test size, I'm gonna just put 0 0.2. And then also make sure you do your random state. Random state, and this time we're gonna say it's 16. And with just a few lines of, lines of code, we now have our X and Y for X train and also Y train and then test and test for both. Instead of importing in a CSV or creating some brand new data, pretty simple like that. So. Do want to show you guys a few different methods over time on how we can get our data uh, for these machine learning models. I feel this one's pretty basic. Okay. Now we're going to import in our extra tree classifier. So from sklearn.ensemble import extra tree classifier, just like this. And I do have an issue. sklearn. And the reason why is I forgot an S. So make sure you put the extra S in here for extra trees. Now we can call this. So I'm just gonna say etc, etc, right? Equals extra trees classifier. And then you put your random state in here. So I'm gonna say random state equals, I'll just say 21 again. So now we have our random states. Now we can fit our data. So we can just put over here etc.fit and throw in here X train and also Y train, right? And now we have this down below. Okay, we wanna see how well this performs. I'm just gonna do a basic cross eval score. So from sklearn.model underscore selection, import cross val score. Okay, now that is built in here, we can so cross -vel score. First, throw in your model, so etc. Then we're gonna throw in x train, then we're gonna throw in y train. Scoring equals, and we'll just say accuracy, okay? And then we'll say cv equals five, and then n underscore jobs equals negative one. 
And then since we're gonna get five over here, let's find the mean of it. Uh, so we're gonna do the calculation in a bit. We're gonna shift and enter. And we have a score of 0 0.9375, which is pretty good overall. Um, but let's see if we can improve this a little bit. So uh, we're gonna do some hyperparameter tuning. And all you have to do is param grid. Okay, then we're gonna say that's equal to, build this out over here. Let's start off with n estimators. So n estimators, which make sure this is in single quotes, but n estimators like this. And then you can put in a few different estimators. So we'll just say like 100, 250, 500, put a comma here, and you build out your next one, min samples for each leaf. So min samples, leaf right put what you want say 5 15 25 okay and lastly let's do our max features so max features again put what you want let's say like three five seven nine okay and that's just some basic hyperparameter tuning if you want to find out even more parameters right Pretty easy. You just look up extra tree classifier, watch this. Go here and then go to site kit docs. And essentially this will tell you all the different parameters, right? And estimators uh, by default's a hundred, right? Criterion, max depth, min samples. And there's a lot over here. So uh, feel free to play around with it if you really want to. I'm also gonna throw this in here too because I can change our results a little bit. And um, it's an art trying to use hyperparameter tuning to get something a little bit better, but you keep testing it out, right? So read the docs, test, and see if you can improve your model. Now, this will take a little bit of time, but we'll go over that in a second. Oh, I forgot my comma over here. All right, so we have our parameter grid. Um, this isn't done yet because we do need to grid search it and then we still have to fit our data. So let's do a grid search. We have to first import this in. So from sklearn.model selection, import grid search CV. Okay, now that is built in over here. And we'll say etc2 equals, and we'll throw in our grid search CV, grid search CV. We'll throw our etc over here again. We'll throw in our param grid. Then we'll also say uh, CV, this time is three, just because it's gonna take forever. And then n jobs equals negative one. The reason why it's gonna take forever is we're gonna take three times, we have four over here, so it's 12 times three right, 36 times three again, which is gonna be 108 times two. So we're at 216. Uh, this could balloon up really fast if you increase this or throw other into this parameter. Now, when I fit the model, it's gonna take a little bit. So all I'm gonna do to fit it is etc2. We're gonna say dot fit, then put an X train, and then also your Y train. And now this might take a little bit because there's 216 uh, models that have to be Okay, and we're back and this has now been fitted. So we're gonna do two things real quick. We're gonna see our best parameters and also our best score. So etc2, we can do dot best params, right? And you can see criterion is genie over here. Then for max features, five was the best, which we have right over here, right? Min samples leaf, it said five, which is over here. And then est an estimator is 500. So that's a good way to start your initial hyperparameter tuning. You, again, you can go back and change these and run it again to see whether parameters work better if you can get a higher score. So now we can also see our score. So all I have to do is etc2.best underscore score like this. And then our best score is 0 0.9377. So it's a little bit better than our score from above, um, but it's honestly not the biggest change overall. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you learned something new about Extra Trees Classifier, make sure to subscribe to the channel as these videos are 100% for free and it does help the YouTube channel grow. Now, if you wanna learn even more about SciKit Learn, I have a full playlist right over here and you should check out some more of those videos.